Hey everyone, Sean here, and today in this video, we're gonna go over my predictions for going to top eight. So, we do have top sixteen all set and ready for uh, Battle Boss World Championship Seven after episode seventeen. Was a great episode, along with episode sixteen and stuff like that. We still have quite the quite the salt and uh, quite some upsets, and and of course, though, and most importantly. Uh, great fights. So, Battle Boss is still going strong. I do like it. I've been enjoying it. The season as a whole, just you know, controversies aside, you know, uh, but the new rule changes have been great. Blah blah blah. I've already said it. You know, I, all the changes have been um, working out very nicely. Now, as I pointed out last video, I did get four wrong overall, which is not too bad, all, all things considered. This is my first pre uh, bracket prediction video ever I've done for BattleBots. So all things considered, um, I'm going to go ahead and adjust it now to the correct uh, winners. So let me see if I can do that. Okay, that's nice. So let's go switch around the bots. Um, so one, two, uh, three... So that should be it, right? So there we go. And uh, on this side, it was only one wrong with Donald Hudson right here. So yeah, I got the the Ripperoni fight wrong because I thought Ripper, uh, Ripperoni is gonna win it. Quantum, I was hoping Quantum to win it, but there was an upset, and um, Ribot pulled out the win, and then Monsoon pulled out a very convincing victory against uh, Cobalt after a great fight between the two British uh, robots, I believe, or I should say UK, just to make it a little more um, uh, general, I guess you could say. And that is pretty much it. So that's not too bad, all things considered, if I say so myself. So with that, we know who is going to be uh, putting up against each other. So this is uh, going to be pretty interesting for some of these fights. But oh boy, the, this fight over here is going to be pretty juicy, right? Over here. But let's go, let me see. Uh, let's go to this bracket first with Minotaur and Malice. Minotaur has been looking real, real good throughout his fights, man. It's been quite the performance for the bull, you know, with um, with Team Minotaur behind that too, man. That the the captain has been really doing a good great job putting uh keeping that team together. Um you know, and also speaking out for the team. And you know, they they've been uh make you know, make uh they were they were putting up a great great job for keeping sure the robot is in shape and you know, uh, you can keep fighting and stuff like that. But we can't uh, forget about Malice. Malice did put up a great fight against a switchback, so you just never know. But I do feel like Minotaur is going to come out on top of it. Um, oh, that's kind of interesting. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I, don't know why, I don't know why I went back for a moment. But, but I, I, I do feel that um, the drum is just going to really rip up the, the, the horizontal weapon that uh, Malice has. It'll grind up the forks. I think that's just kind of how it works with um, these type of robots. But you just never know. I think it'll put up a great fight. Um, I don't believe it will be a complete wash or anything like that. I think it will be a pretty good fight against the two. But I think Minotaur will take it to the top. I think I think Minotaur honestly will. Hold, you know, we'll see. But um, hopefully, put up a good fight throughout throughout the whole thing. We'll see about that. Let's see about who wins this one, though, with uh, Saw Blaze and Monsoon. Ooh, this is a kind of a tough one, I'd say. But those forks, though, have been really serving well against a lot of robots. Um, other than Hydra, the only other robot that can really convincingly beat Saw Blaze at the moment. So I think this is just because of the ground game. Um, this is a really tough matchup uh, on Monsoon's side. So I think, honestly, I'm going to give it uh, to Sawblaze. I mean, I just think that, you know, as much as I would like to give it to Monsoon uh, for putting up a, an even fight, I think Sawblaze really has a great ground game against a shape like this and bring down the Hammersaw. That's pretty much all there is to it. So... 
Um, I think for this one, for next one up, we have Hydra against uh, Whiplash. This will be a pretty juicy fight. Um, Whiplash isn't exactly the most dangerous robot kinetically, but when it comes to control, that's where the, that's where it really gets juicy, right? But Hydra takes that sort of uh, control almost to the next level, right, in a way, in its own right, because of the flipping. Um, that powerful flipping, hopefully it, uh, it's working though, right? Hopefully there's no like bugs or anything like that during that fight. But I do believe Hydro will win it. I, I believe it will definitely uh, win that fight for sure. Really, really, uh, I do uh, feel that Hydro will have the, the upper hand. Now, of course, I think it will uh, probably take it to three minutes. I mean, it's not the most, like, it's not the most violent of robots. It's just very um, active when it comes to flipping. <laughs> We'll have to wait and see with the forks. I mean, we just never know what the kind of fork configuration um, what Team Whiplash will have at hand. And that could uh, definitely turn the tide on it. But for the most part, I think the flipping will definitely uh, be a key to this fight here. So Hydra, I think, will win it. All right, this one is kind of tough. Um, this, could, this could honestly go either way. This is definitely... A really tough fight because Ribot is kind of durable in his own right, but there's Black Dragon, right? And but Black Dragon hasn't been hitting the hardest um, throughout the seasons. But it, honestly, I don't know. It could be time for it to uh, come alive against Ribot. It, it just it just really is just a matter of durability in this match. It's, it's a it's a durability match, but. I do want to give it to, um, I do want to give it to, uh, let me see. I'm going to give it to Black Dragon. I think, I think it's probably going to come out on top. Um, we've seen the control that it is capable of, so I think there, I think that's where it's going to, uh, going to shine, perhaps. But, Rip, you know, Ribot, sure, probably has more wheels, maybe has more grip and stuff like that, exposed like that, so he'll have more grip. So maybe it is it might it might be harder to control, but I think I think somehow Black Dragon will come out um, out of this one. This is probably the one I could be wrong though. I feel this is fe definitely feel like uh, I I definitely feel the least confident. But somehow for, or for some reason I'm going I'm I'm giving it to um, Black Dragon. This one was pretty funny because of um, the post interview or the interview with Martin Mason and Jonathan Schultz. And the whole uh, huge boom, <laughs> huge boom thing. Like, come on, man. Like, Martin Mason, you're a treasure to be had. Although, with that said, I think I'm going to give it to Huge. Huge has been riding on that huge momentum. No pun intended. Uh, I'm going to give it to Huge. Uh, just because of that. Like, it's been just on fire. I think the philosophies that it's been just going with or that uh schultz has been going with for this robot has been very effective with the wheels and everything um just i don't know it's just just something about um that team is just like clicking together quite a bit and, and, you know they just have the height they got the power and the driving you know and and the sort of skill to really pull it off as much as i would love to see martin mason and his team win it you know but it could potentially go to Mad Catter if they can, if they bring out like a surprise that the the huge boon thing. I'm not sure what it is. No one knows what it is. So we'll find out in the episode. But for right now, I'm gonna give it a huge, just because they got the height, got the power, they got that contact uh, from from the from above. This one um, is a little tougher to call. But I'm going to go ahead and give that to Witch Doctor. I think Witch Doctor is going to um, just... It's been looking really consistent. I think this, this this robot is the definition of consistent. Besides someone like someone like um, Sawblaze, you know? And, you know, you got the weapon. You got the self-rider working. It's always been consistent throughout its season. So I think that consistency will help definitely help out um, its fight against... Uh, Lockjaw. 
And meanwhile, Lockjaw has a ten more of a tendency to catch fire, burn out its motors, or something smokes or something, right? But again, we can't count out on Donald Hudson to put uh, put up a good fight with um even if the whipping somehow goes out, there's the driving from 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 Donald Hudson and the patience that we've seen and um his performance with Lockjaw has been look, has been looking better uh, this season than than the last one, right? So, Witch Doctor though, I think that consistency is going to pay off though against Lockjaw. So, the who who's the best green robot? I'm gonna give it to the Witch Doctor for this one this time around. Or, or should I say, green and purple ish, bluish kind of color. I'm gonna give it a Witch Doctor this time. As much as I love Donald Hudson, I think Witch Doctor will win this one. Ooh, this is going to be an interesting fight because Copperhead is very, very dangerous with that drum. I have no idea what could happen with that one. But, uh, I'm, with that said though, I'm pretty sure there's something about Endgame. Just always prepared for the worst, for the most dangerous weapons. And um, I think they're going to win it. They look very convincing against Tantrum. I think they're going to be able to uh, pull it off against uh, uh, Copperhead. So that's going to be a, a fun one at that. And I, I, I honestly think they're, they're definitely one of the contenders to go on top. Again, they, you know, they've been pretty... Cons I feel like they've been pretty consistent champions. You know? So I am going to give it an end game for right now, but... I think Copper will definitely put up a good fight. Um, just gonna hope that the chains on the wheels hold up, and we'll have a good fight to see. This one though, this is what I was kind of waiting to uh, talk about because Riptide has been riding the waves of controversy. I hate to make the make a pun of that, but um, it's true. You know, you can't help it. After controversy, after controversy, you know, I I, I think the the whole um. Beetle weight copying thing. It's the least of our worries, like I said before. It's the ones with Shredderator and it's the ones with Shatter. That's like, ugh, man. I don't want to keep thinking about that, but that's what's been happening around this team. And I really liked this team back then, right? But, you know, controversies aside, it is a powerful, it is dangerous robot. Like, you cannot deny that. Like, there's no denying that at all. Like, there's no no way in hell anyone can argue against that. The power of this thing is just something to be afraid of. But it is now competing against the likes of of a robot that had um, destruction of the year at some... Or, yeah, destruction of the season or whatever. Um, and I believe it's in its last last season. So it got the destru destruction reward, you know. Um, that was like just that that, that whole that run with uh, um, Hypershock, with Whale Bales and all that, like, was very convincing. Just that alone, and I think as much as you know, it's, and it's not to say that I'm 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 rooting against Riptide. I'm not trying to be biased as much as possible, you know. But I honestly think. Hypershock can pull it off. I think it's the robot that will stop him. Um, we've seen upsets uh, with Hypershock winning in the past, I believe. And I think it will pull it off. I think it has, the, it has um, enough power. But importantly, it has the drive. And I, heard, I, I believe that, they, and I think even even said himself, but they don't have quite the drive. But they all they all always counter... Um, count on the weapon to do all the work, do all the talking for them, you know. But this robot is uh, the Hypershock is known for not only the weapon now, or, or not only for the weapon, but the drive, the tires, you know, it's got that grip. But yes, it does flip over with uncontrollably from time to time. But hopefully that doesn't um, bite them in the butt too bad. But once it does flip over. Riptide can definitely take that chance to, um, you know, bite bite them in the butt or just destroy them with that. 
Uh, there definitely is going to be missing tires. There definitely is a chance of that for sure. I, I don't know, but I do feel that Hypershock can win it. Um, it does have the drive. It probably will be able to control, if he plays his cards right, be able to control Riptide and win it. But, yeah. Hopefully I get that right. But, um, again, I'm not trying to be biased against Riptide. I'm just looking at the robot. The robot is powerful and dangerous, but you got to take that, that like the one weakness, and it's the drive. And and, and the Hypershock has the drive, and the weapon can w uh, perform well enough. Not Maybe not head-to-head, -head, but, but, but <laughs> you know, enough to, well, to maybe take out the corners of Riptide or something like that. But... We got to wait and see for next week. We'll find out what's going to happen for the top 16. So, yeah. Top 16. The entire top 16 is going to play out. We're going to have, uh, uh, what, eight fights, right, still? So, yeah, eight fights all together. And uh, that will be the determining factor of top eight. And that's that. So, again, um, go over my my top eight so i think it's going to be in for top eight i think uh it's going to be minotaur uh against saw blaze against uh or no uh hydra against black dragon on the other side uh i predict that top eight will also have hypershock going against um end game and then here lastly we uh will have hopefully uh according to my predictions Witch Doctor and uh, Huge. So Minotaur, Saw Blaze, Hydra, Black Dragon, Huge, Witch Doctor, Endgame, and Hypershock will all make it into top eight. That is my that is my prediction. Finalized. That's it. <laughs> I'm locking it down, baby. So that is uh pretty much it for all I got for this uh bracket prediction video featuring top sixteen going into top eight. What do you guys uh what do you guys' predictions look like? You guys agreed with me or disagree with some of these ones, you know, that's some of, that sort of thing. I'll welcome those comments in the comment section below. Definitely love to read them. And yeah, these 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 uh, videos have been really fun to make. I, I really do like talk uh, I really do like talking about battle bots cuz some this is one of those hidden things throughout my years that I haven't really talked about on this channel, but I mean this 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 show has been really popping off with the internet and nowadays, you know, and it just makes sense, right? And I, so I think it's gonna go on for a longer time, um, way longer time. And you know, even if uh, it doesn't do well enough for TV, I think it'll do well enough for for Twitch and stuff like that, or some live streaming program. Honestly, you know, just run some ads, and and I think there you go. That's pretty much. Um, it's kind of like the uh, the next winning formula for for battle bots, but for right now, I I'm liking it. I'm definitely liking where it's at right now. Could they improve upon it even more? Sure, there absolutely is still room for improvement, uh, including a implementation of a tab out button. So perhaps, but it is a TV show first, then competition, then blah blah blah, everything else uh, after that. We'll see, but importantly. Hopefully we can look forward to top 16. I really am excited to see who wins and goes into top 8. So uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And really appreciate it. So uh, links in the description to further help me out potentially. Uh, really do appreciate you guys taking the time to take a, take a look at those. Again, thank you very much. Hope to see you all in the uh, the episode next episode analysis and uh, bracket checkup video. So looking forward to it. And hope to see you all in the next one. Sean out.